Hey, I'm Guy Adelot. And I'm Matt Weaver. And we're doing a presentation on the Chalice Volcanic Groups for our Geoscience 100 lab. The first thing we're going to talk about is the primary rock types and how they formed. In order from most to least abundant, the rocks in our geologic province are andesite lava flows and tuff breccia, andesite lava flows and flow breccia, volcanic classic sedimentary rocks, lithic tuff, non-volcanic conglomerate, and rhyolite dikes. Before the volcanic activity in our area, a layer of non-volcanic conglomerate rock was deposited from when the area was a seabed. The next part of our geologic time scale includes the formation of volcanoes, which erupted effusively to form andesite, which is an extrusive igneous rock of an intermediate composition. Also note that andesite is the most abundant rock in the area. Here you can see pictures of andesite and a cool volcanic eruption. After the effusive eruptions created lots and lots and lots of andesite and breccias, over time they started to form volcanic classic sedimentary rocks. This volcanic classic sedimentary rock mostly formed in the low topographic areas. Next came the formation of Decite and Morbeccias. These were formed by the eruption from fissures and flotome complexes. In this slide, please note that you can see the visual representation of Decite and another cool volcanic eruption. After the Decitic eruptions, we have Volcanic Classic Sedimentary Rock Part 2, Electric Boogaloo. What happened here is we have most of the clasts and sediment from the previous eruption starting to just form and compact again. After the formation of more volcanic classic sedimentary rock, we have a layer of distinctive lithic ash flow tuff, which is correlated with the tuff at Stoddard Gulch. Stoddard Gulch is located near the southeast edge of our geologic province. After we get that layer of tuff, on top of that we see just a little bit of everything. There's thin andesite and decite flows, and then a little bit of a thin conglomerate too. After our little bit of everything, we find that we have some intrusions of decite, and we found this beautiful educational illustration of what this might look like. Here we can see these decite bodies, and they are intruded into this rock, which probably includes some breccia among everything else that we've talked about. Looking at the composition of the rocks at the uh, Chalice Volcanic Group, we see it's mostly andesitic rocks, typically of, well, what you see right here on the slide, mostly high potassium basaltic andesite, high potassium andesite, shoshonite, banachite, and a lot of other really big important sounding words. But the, the main takeaway here is it's mostly andesite up there with a little bit of other things, but yeah, mostly andesite and decite. And now the moment you've all been waiting for, the primary ages of the rocks. Follow along with me as we read this list. The whole eruptive cycle took place between 51 and 44 ma, which means million years ago. The effusive eruptions and intermediate volcanic rocks formed between 52 and 48 ma, or million years ago. Explosive silicic volcanism formed between 48.5 and 47 million years ago. The Stoddard Gulch correlated tuff formed between, between 47 and 44.3 million years ago. The dating for that was performed at Stoddard Gulch. The final stage of volcanism took place between 48 and 45 million years ago, with a few intrusions as young as 40 ma. All ages were found by radiometric dating using argon and potassium. <clears throat> Good though, I liked it. Looking at the major structural features in the area, we noticed that obviously it's dominated by volcanoes. We see the Thunder Mountain caldera, the Twin Peaks caldera, then we also see the Van Horn Peak Cauldron Complex, and then we see other things that aren't really related directly to volcanoes, like the Custer Graben that it all forms in, Panther Peak Graben on the other side of it, Round Valley, and then the Snake River Plain to the south. Now for everybody's favorite military figure, General Geologic History. 
all of the volcanism that we've discussed has taken, took place during the Eocene epoch, which spanned from 56 Ma to 33.9 Ma. There are two possible models to explain the volcanism during this period. The first, which is the most commonly accepted model, is the subduction of the Farallon plate between beneath the North American plate. The other possible model is rifting caused by the collision of the Pacific and North American plates. The first feature that we observed was the normal faults, which resulted in the grabbins, which we have previously discussed. After that was the formation of volcanoes, and then eruption from the volcanoes, followed by time to allow sedimentary and meta metamorphic rocks to form, followed by more volcanoes. Looking at how the present topography of this province is related to its geologic history, it's kind of obvious. The whole area is dominated by volcanoes and normal faults, so you get basins that the whole area is kind of formed in from the normal faults and lots of just grabbins in general. And then you have lots of volcanic mountains that have formed. Really, it's pretty straightforward. Last but not least, we're going to consider some natural resources and hazards that are associated with our area. One of the biggest natural resources that you might associate with mountains is mining. In our area, they mine all sorts of things which you can find in the list in front of you. Besides that, there are many rivers in these mountains because rivers usually accompany mountains. Primarily, we have the Salmon River, the Snake River to the south, and the Littlewood River. <clears throat> Besides that, we have many hot springs in the area which are heated naturally by the volcanoes. And as far as hazards go, there are many hazards associated with these things, such as tripping and falling over all of the gold, drowning in the river, or boiling in a hot spring. Well, we hope you've enjoyed our quick little journey through the Chalice Volcanic Group. I'm Matt Weaver. And I'm Guy Adelot. Signing off.